In this video, I'm going to help you understand kinematics and time management. So this is the trajectory of a kick ball. All right. So in the velocity initially is 20 meter per second at 37 degree angle. This is our time kicked ball. All right. So first thing we're going to try to find out is the both component of the velocity. So both component of the velocity would be what? So velocity would be v um, cosine theta and v sine theta. And v would be 20 cosine 37, that would be 16 meter per second. And 20 sine 37, that would be 12 meter per second. Next thing you're going to do, you're going to find the vectors okay both component of the vectors at least three location on this trajectory so this is the trajectory that the ball takes so this is the ball this is the ball this is the ball at a three different location we can call it location a location b and location c at location a all right the vectors two vectors we're going to call it all right vx and we're going to call this one vy okay so vx as you see that vx is constant vx is constant 16 16 and 16 why vx is constant because acceleration due to gravity at the x direction is zero if acceleration due to gravity at the x direction is zero the velocity at the x direction would remain constant and velocity at the y direction should be smaller than velocity at the x direction because of course 12 is smaller than 16. So this is Vy and the Vy is 12 and this Vy is of course this Vy is 0 okay and this Vy is of course negative 12. Try to understand why the velocity the y component of the velocity decreases acceleration due to gravity vector at the rest side is downward okay all right and the initial velocity is upward as you see initial velocity is upward so initial velocity fight with acceleration due to gravity so this the 12 become 11 become 10 become 9 become 8 become 7 become 6 become 5 become 4 become 3 become 2 become 1 become 0 now acceleration due to gravity at the y direction on the other side as you see is downward so now this is a velocity at the y direction is also downward all right so on the green side acceleration and velocity vector at the same direction this is why the velocity increases at the negative direction what does that mean zero become one become two become three become four become five become six become seven become eight become nine become ten become eleven become twelve at the negative direction this is why i wrote negative twelve the first thing we're going to find the time time at location a b and c all right there are multiple ways of finding the time i'm going to do uh, at least two way so dy is equal to v v i t plus half a t square so of course you're gonna have to do it at the y direction okay y direction give you the time and x direction give you the range y direction always gives you the time all right so the when ball land over here okay displacement is zero because the distance between the ball and the ground is zero so displacement is zero when the ball touch the ground vi is 12 t plus half negative 10 t square so zero is equal to 12 t minus 5 t square so zero equal to t 12 minus 5 t so t is equal to zero 12 minus 5 t is equal to zero so t, uh, t is equal to 2.4 how 12 divided by 5 is 2.4 okay so 2.4 all right so when the ball touches the ground all right 
ball stay in the air for 2.4 second what about right here okay since this is half 2.4 divided by 2 is going to be 1.2 all right 1.2 and this is zero because the time when the ball is start when you kick the ball the time was zero okay now i'm going to show you another way of finding it and that is vf is equal to vi plus gt of course this is going to be also at the y direction all right vf y what is the velocity right here when ball almost touch the ground negative 12 as you see that where is the velocity right here when you kick the ball positive 12 plus negative 10 t we are using g is equal to negative 10 meter per second square of course so negative 12 and um, you bring it to the other side so negative 24 is equal to negative 10 t negative negative cancel t is equal to 24 over 10 so t is equal to 22.4 so you're going to find dx this time okay so to find the dx what are you going to do of course we're going to do two ways one is by math and one is by geometry all right by math d is equal to vit plus half at squared of course at the x direction so make sure we find it at the x direction what did I, what did i say gx is zero okay so this would be zero okay as you see that i already wrote it so dx would be 16 times 2.4 now um let's see uh let's find the other way geometry all right so what do we know about velocity versus time but what component of the velocity gonna give us the range of course x component of the velocity x component of the velocity gonna give us the range this is range okay so what is the x component of the velocity x component of the velocity as you see that never changes never changes never changes because x direction due to gravity at the x direction is zero okay so what is it 16 so you're going to write 16 here all right and what is it 2.4 and what do you call this one you call this one area under the you call this one area under the area under the curve so this is area under the curve there is a name for this area under the curve and that is of course uh, dx so the formula is bh b is 2.4 and h is of course 16 38.4 so you get the same answer meter meter okay good so two ways you can do the same thing now if the ball is here a ball if there is a sun on the in the sky then the the ball casts shadow over here so then 38.4 divided by 2 would be uh, divided by 2 would be 19.2 um, so this one would be 19.2 and this one would be 0 you can also do it by here so when ball is uh, right here you can put 1.2 then this is this going to become 19.2 all right or you can put 1.2 over here and this is going to become 19.2 okay good now we're going to we're going to find dx but um, displacement now this one also going to be the same 0 19.2 38.4 why is that is that the motion is at the positive direction when motion is at the positive direction distance uh, and displacement are the same okay for example if you throw it and you catch it at the max height then distance and displacement at the x direction would be the same is because you did not allow the object to change the direction object was moving at the positive direction good now we're going to do dy let's do dy dy is this one this is dy so you're going to do two three or four way maybe two way just two way 
So D is equal to VAT plus half AT square. Of course, we can put the uh, the the Y. All right. Okay. Good. So D Y is height. V I Y. V I Y is of course twelve. T. Let's find the height over here. The max height. So max. All right. So max height is at maximum height t is 1.2 plus half negative 10 1.2 squared. So h max would be 14.4 minus 7.2. So h max would be 7.2 meter. Okay. So maximum height is 7.2 meter. Now let's find it by, of course, using the geometry. So when we talk about the maximum height area under the graph would be also the maximum height so what do we talk about what component of the velocity of course vy so the initial velocity is uh, 12 the final velocity is negative 12 so at 1.2 the velocity is 0 at 1 at 2.4 this is 1.2 at 2.4 the velocity is negative 12 so then this is okay good now what are you going to do you're going to shade this one green and we're going to shade this one uh, maybe red all right good now the in the green we know that in the green we know that dy is equal to displacement y why is that because if you throw a ball in the air if you throw something in the air and if you grab it here at the top then distance and displacement are at the positive direction so both would be the same let's prove that half bh so half b is 1.2 and h is 12 so 7.2 7.2 and displacement y is also 7.2 but that's not the case over here dy will not gonna be equal to displacement y so let's find the displacement all right, so as you see that displacement um, at the direction y is 7.2 meter, which is negative. So in order to uh, get the distance, distance cannot be negative. So we have to put the absolute value, okay? So negative 7.2, okay, good. So this is 7.2, this is zero, this is a 14 point displacement at the y direction is 0 this is 7.2 this is 0 why this is 0 because you have the green green is of course 7.2 and you have the red red is negative 7.2 all right so positive 7.2 negative 7.2 is 0 okay now next thing we're going to find is most important thing and that is the speed to find the speed, location A, you have the velocity vector Vx, you have the velocity vector Vx, you have the velocity vector Vx. Vx is 16, Vx is 16, Vx is 16. This is because acceleration due to gravity at the x direction is 0. And also now consider Vy. Vy is 12, Vy is 0, and Vy is of course negative 12 now what we need to find the speed so this is the speed so this is the speed all right what does that mean this is not really speed this is really vxy and vxy give you a speed and direction because this arrow has two things one is magnitude and one is direction another name for magnitude is speed all right and another name for uh, direction is the theta c square is equal to a square plus b square so c square is of course we're trying to find the speed so speed a square is vx vx is 16 so vx is square plus b square is vy square so s square is equal to 16 square plus uh, 12 square so s is equal to 20 all right so the magnitude of this is 20 so you're gonna write 20 the magnitude of this one is let's see 
All right. Magnitude of this one is, let's see, this is S squared. All right, so S squared is Vx is I see 16. Vx is I see 16. 16 is squared. And Vy is I see 0 squared. All right, so S is, of course, 16. So this one is 16. Now we're going to do it here, right here. So S squared is equal to Vx squared I see 16. And Vy squared I see neg negative 12. I see negative 12. So I'm going to write negative 12 is square. So S is equal to 20. So 20. All right, now finally we're going to do uh, velocity at the x direction and velocity at the y direction. So velocity at the x direction and velocity at the y direction. So velocity at the x direction, let's see what is the velocity at the x direction. Velocity at the x direction is, let's change the color. Velocity at the x direction is 16, uh, 16, and also 16. Velocity at the y direction, 12, 0, and negative 12. All right, now we're going to find the gx, or right, acceleration at the x direction, 0, 0, 0. Acceleration at the y direction, negative 10, negative 10, negative 10. Brought to you by Brilliant.org, and we hope you will enjoy it. Happy Holidays. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science.